Hello and welcome to another edition of Kaleidoscope on Channels Television. I'm Anne Mwawadu. On the program today, we speak with the first female managing director of Cadbury Nigeria PLC, Oyeyimika Adeboye, on the efforts made to develop the society. Also, the managing director of Ladol, Dr. Amy Jadesimi, tells us about the impact made through social corporate responsible initiatives of the organization. Once again, welcome to the program. The origin of Cadbury Nigeria PLC dates back to the 1950s when the business was founded as an operation to source cocoa beans from Nigeria. In the early 1960s, an initial operation was established to repack imported bulk products. This packaging operation grew rapidly into a fully-fledged manufacturing operation and resulted in the incorporation of Cadbury Nigeria Limited in January 1965. In 1976, the company became a publicly listed company with shares traded locally on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Cadbury Nigeria has grown to become a household name, providing consumers with much-loved iconic brands focused on nourishing and delighting its consumers with the right snacks. So I began my conversation with the managing director of Cadbury Nigeria PLC, Oyeyimika Adeboye, by asking how much delight the company has brought to those in need. As a company, our business is uh, focused on snacking. Um, Cadbury, with a holding company as Mondelez, is a global company, and we're a snacking company. And we, one of the things we say in our mission as a global company is that we provide the right snacking so we enable people to snack right. Um, in Nigeria, obviously, snacking is a big thing, more for the younger children and also for women and adults. So in terms of just bringing relief to the needy people in Nigeria, uh, we do a range of things, ranging from, you know, um, helping children. So we do a lot of things with schools, helping our communities. Uh, we are located in Agidimbi and our host community is the Agidimbi community and we do a lot in supporting that community. And of recent, you know, with the entire COVID issue, Cadbury has been um, very, very active in supporting communities across the country where we operate. You seem to pay a lot of attention on children. I know you just concluded the Boots Camp Pan Nigeria for children. I mean, tell us why you decided to choose this category of people. So our biggest brand, the most iconic brand in our portfolio is Bonvita. And Bonvita is synonymous with children. Um, probably 65 to 70% of our consumers um, for Bonvita are children. So it's natural to support children as they grow. Um, so the, the boot camp, for example, was something that we had been doing physically. Um, and we, what we do is we, we allow children to compete for spaces. We have, about, we have a space for about, I think, 250 children. Um, when they compete, they go to the boot camp, and I believe the boot camp is for about 10 days. Um, but this year, with COVID um, and the limitation to movement, we decided to do a boot camp virtually. And to our greatest amazement, we had so many applications. It enabled us to do more. Because with the physical one, obviously, you have a limitation to how many children you can use, you can put in the camp. But with the virtual one, there really wasn't that much of a limitation. So we were able to take more children um, into the boot camp. And, you know, the reports we had and results we had was very good. Uh, technology is the thing now, so why not? Now, talking about children, Cadbury has a CSR project called Nutrition and Healthy Lifestyle. Tell us what this is about. In 2018, our global company, Mondelez International, and obviously us, Cadbury, uh, worked, decided to partner with Helen Keller International. Um, the Mondelez uh, Foundation itself um, started this project across the world, putting in an amount of money as a budget over a three-year period, essentially to ensure healthy nutrition for children. As a snacking company, we do want children to snack, but we want them to snack right. So what we decided to do was to you know, ensure that children understand the importance of nutrition to avoid overweight because obesity is an issue to also avoid underweight making sure that children are properly fed right nutrition right vitamins minerals and so on and so forth you know so we partnered with schools because at the end of the day you need the schools you need the children to understand in the environment where they're learning so we've partnered with schools um, starting from lagos state actually and we've done quite a lot of work with i believe about six or eight schools um, first in our own host community. So the Agadimbi community schools benefited first and a few other schools across, across Lagos. Um, essentially to just teach the children, we've got 
they've got farms growing the right products. Um, they've got classes just teaching them all the vitamins, what they're good for, what's good for you, what's not good for you, combinations of food and so on and so forth. So the whole idea is just to educate children and hopefully, you know, put them in a place where as they grow up in life, they understand the benefits of what they're putting inside of them. Now, are there programs that Cadbury has done or is doing in improving education in Nigeria, even if it means training teachers or parents to encourage education? Of course, over the years, we've had many um, interventions for teachers and students. Um, a few years ago, we started running the Cadbury Bombita Teachers Award, where teachers are generally encouraged to design uh, programs for their children. And you know, this, this uh, uh, project is then uh, marked, when I say marked, the judges who will judge, and the winners are, are given a, a gift. Uh, we've also had the Cadbury Bonvita Children's Magic Flight over the years. Inst incidentally, recently, we just started the, what we call the Born Factor. Uh, the Born Factor is more around talent. So we go to schools, and the children in the school perform, and the top three schools win a prize. Last year's award was quite interesting. We had three top schools, and the prize money was a million naira uh, for the winning school. We spent about five million naira across the winning group. But it was quite good because it was also going to the talents of the children beyond the things that they learn in their normal curriculum, looking at extracurriculum. Because today, art and talent is big, and we want to also encourage our children to explore those areas. So on education and children with the Helen Keller program that I mentioned, we spent a million dollars. We will, at the end of this year, we would have spent a million dollars. The program, as I said, is a three-year program. We started in 2018. We're spreading this uh, message across various primary schools. Um, the budget is pretty big, a million dollars. Um, we expect that we will touch enough lives and would have that impact to have in the lives of these children. Some organizations encourage volunteering activities that would impact positive, positively on the lives of the less privileged in the society. Tell us what the Cadbury experience is like. Uh, this uh, volunteering and being part of our community is a big deal for us. As a global company, uh, we even have various initiatives that ev almost every entity in the, in the Mondelez life, Mondelez business, would participate in. One example is what we call a Purpose Week, and the purpose is to, to support our communities. Um, for that purpose, we, each team, so various uh, functions in the company, finance, HR, commercial, sales, manufacturing, each team will pick what they want to support and they're encouraged to go out and do whatever it is they want to do. In my former life as a finance director, for example, when I was in finance, my finance team went to a, 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 it's like a home for children who are disadvantaged and challenged physically. And we spent the day there just before Christmas. We essentially cleaned up their, their rooms, cleaned up their entire facility, and then we gave to them, uh, donated a lot of products to them, not just our own products, but things that we know they would need, you know, diapers, toiletries, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's one thing we do as a business. We also have what we call the volunteer week, uh, where we volunteer again to support our communities. Again, employees are encouraged to do this. We make t-shirts for our employees, we go out as a team, and we volunteer across our communities. Uh, another thing that we do when we have, uh, in the days when people can travel, you know, today it's a bit difficult, but we would have visitors from uh, our global companies, and we always make sure that when we have top level visitors coming, they do some community service. We take them, we choose where we want them to go to, we take them there, and they would roll up their sleeves, wear t-shirts, get on their knees and scrub the floor. Um, just to set the example and the tone for the rest of the business that even if you're the CEO of Mondelez, you will still do this. One of the things we've done over the years, um, given what has happened in the northeast of Nigeria, is to continue to support the internally displaced persons across the country. Um, and for the third year running, we've donated to the IDP camp. Uh, in 2019, we donated through the United Nations uh, refugee team. Um, we, we, we were very proud of this because at the point when we were doing this, there was a huge cry from the UN to, to, for Nigeria to support its own in these refugee camps. Um, the team came to our offices, we had conversations on how we can support and our products were taken to um, quite a, a lot of people actually. As an organization focused on nutrition and health, tell us some of your greatest achievements in that sector. Cadbury Bonvita 
is the first food drink to be endorsed by the Nutritional Society of Nigeria. We're proud of that. For me, one of the biggest ones was the effort we made to ensure that our product had all the necessary ingredients and minerals and, and, and um, vitamins, um, and then get an endorsement from the Nutritional Society of Nigeria, particularly for Bonvita, which we, you know, is, a, is a healthy drink, is a, is a nutritious drink. So we had the Nutritional Society of Nigeria check our product, check the attributes of our product, try it, give it to children, give it to mothers, and then endorse us for that purpose. We also do various other things for mothers. We support the breast cancer awareness scheme that a few organizations are doing, where mobile clinics go to communities. Um, they screen women for free, and we believe that Bonvita is a brand that can support that. So Bonvita as a brand is a key support that we use for breast cancer awareness, and we do this across Nigeria. Cadbury was one of the companies that responded to the Clarion call in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Tell us some of the strategies that you were able to deploy to help fight the COVID-19 pandemic. For our business as a food and beverage business, I think um, it was pretty easy for us to figure out how we could help. You know, while you know, there was a lot of requirement for medical supplies, um, for all sorts of pharmaceutical help, we felt the first thing that people wanted to be fed. Um, so we decided, first of all, the communities where we operate in, how can we help in terms of feeding? So we worked with various state governments, you know, across Nigeria um, to provide uh, some of our iconic beverages, Bonvita, hot chocolate, um, to communities so that they can have the beverage, which is very nutritious anyway. Our beverages are chocolate-based and it has all the vitamins in it. Uh, we've worked with government. We work directly with their food banks. Each state, almost every state in Nigeria had a food bank. So it was pretty easy to, to connect with the states and to make sure that the products are delivered to the state. And our teams on the field worked, you know, we have various teams in different divisions. Each team worked with the state government to ensure that the food, our beverages got to the right people. We spent about 50 million naira in, in that. We also donated face masks to various communities because obviously some communities, people can't afford to buy their own face mask. And um, so we, we donated a few face masks across these communities. Due to manufacturing activities in some of your factories, I mean, residents might be prone to health risks. What is your organization doing in keeping the environment clean and safe, especially for your customers and your host community? So our company at, at, at first is very, very careful in terms of the environment. We believe that you know, our communities must not, if they know that we're in their environment, we're there for good, not for anything to harm them. So we've won many awards coming from First certification, ISO certification, which is very important anyway when you're in manufacturing. Uh, we have an effluent treatment plant, so whatever water we use here, when we send it out into the ground, we send clean water out, not it's treated and it's clean and it will not harm the community. Uh, we obviously generate power, but our power generation is coming from a soundproof, completely soundproof generator. You, I mean, you're sitting in my office now, I'm sure you can't hear anything. Um, the generator itself is also run on gas, which is more efficient than diesel. Um, this is part of um, what we do to, to the environment. Um, a lot of our packaging materials are environmentally friendly. Um, the jars for Bonvita, for example, the cardboard, the boxes that we use, we call them shippers, they're all um, using recyclable material, which is good for the environment. We also, as part of one of the things we do, we, we have been providing water to our host community for over 20 years. Um, good portable water for the community in Agajingbi. This is at, the, at, our own, at our own expense. Um, we intend to do so so long as we're here. This is the commitment that we made to our community just to make sure that they know that they will continue to benefit from us. Now going forward, what will Cadre be doing in the future in terms of corporate social responsibility so that more lives can be touched? As I mentioned earlier, um, being responsible uh, in our community is really important to us. It's part of our DNA and we will continue to do so. As a group, the Mondelez group, which Cadbury Nigeria is a subsidiary of, will continue to support our communities directly and indirectly over the years. It is something that we will do. I don't believe we will stop doing it. I think it's something every company should do. As you, as you survive in a community, as you live in a community, as you operate in a community, there are things that you can do to continue to support the communities. What we need to always do is to identify what is relevant to our community that we can do safely and properly to, to add value to that community. Mm -hmm.